Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Today, we get a chance to look at an amazing mod, that being the Machine Guns Rebirth mod by Skibada. That's right, Skibada is back with yet another remaster for one of his amazing mods. First it was the Mini Guns Rebirth and now it is the Machine Gun Rebirth, which brings back the WH Mark 22 Heavy Machine Gun, as well as the WH Mark 19 Shrike General Purpose Machine Gun. But he's also added two new weapons for us to enjoy, the Flak Gun Mark 1 and the West Tech AGL-40. So the Mark 22 Heavy Machine Gun is going to function as a slow fire rate, very heavy damage heavy weapon. This thing is super, super cool, and I'm so happy to have more heavy weapon options in the game. The Mark 19 Shrike is a faster fire rate, lower damage machine gun, similar to that of a mounted Browning, with a good bit of a Fallout twist. All of these new retextures and models look like they fit perfectly into the Fallout universe, and I really love the time and care that went into these things. The first of the new weapons, the Flak Gun Mark 1, is exactly what it sounds like. A flat gun, designed to shoot planes out of the air, now you can shoot enemies off of the ground. Of course, I'm sure you could put it to some good use taking down vertebrates as well. And then finally, the West Tech AGL-40 is an automatic grenade launcher heavy weapon, Sort of reminiscent of the grenade launcher machine gun that we had in Fallout New Vegas, but with a totally new style and take that's definitely unique and really interesting. Now when it comes to obtaining these weapons, you actually have a brand new holotape the first time you load in after installing this mod. Let's go ahead and check out some of the options available there. So here we are in game, and as you can see we have a machine gun rebirth install holotape. We're going to go ahead and boot that up for the first time and we are going to be presented with some options. Here you can see a weapon spawner as well as leveled list injection. So using a leveled list injection, we can actually add these weapons into the leveled lists if we want to, or not to, if you so please. So you can add weapons and ammo to shops and loot. We're gonna say yes to that. Click it really quick, and as you can see, it ran the scripts right there. And then you can see shop slash loot injection activated. Now I also want to add these weapons to enemy spawns. And there you go. Now they are also added to the enemy spawns. And then we can return to menu. Just like that, we have added them to the leveled list. Now, as you can see, there's also the weapon spawner option. If we select that there, we can actually spawn each of these weapons directly into our menu without needing to go into the console or craft them. Now, alternatively, there are actually a few of these things placed around the world if you do want to go and find them yourself. You can find a Mark 19 at the National Guard Armory, a Mark 22 in the GNR building, you can find the flak gun at the Federal Ration Stockpile. You can find another flak gun at Listening Post Bravo. And then finally, you can find both a Mark 22 as well as the AGL at the Federal Surveillance Center. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at each of these firing and reloading, both in first and third person before we get into the stats, starting with the Mark 19. And then the reload, as well as third person. Now for the Mark 22. And then they reload again using vanilla animations and in third person. Then we move on to the flak gun. This one actually using the Gatling laser animation, which is pretty interesting. And then in third person. Very nice. And then finally we have the 40 millimeter automatic grenade launcher. Let's point this thing at the ground so we can actually see these explode. And the iron sights. And then the reload. Again, all using vanilla reload animations, but that's just fine for a heavy weapon. And there you have it. Every weapon's reload and firing sound. Now let's go ahead and check out the stats for each of these weapons. Here we have the Mark 19 
This has a base damage of 40, shoots 308 rounds, has a fire rate of 100, a range of 191, an accuracy of 20, a weight of 50.7 pounds, and a value of 2,557 caps. Moving on to the Mark 22, this thing has a base damage of 65 as it's shooting 50 caliber bullets, has a fire rate of 68, a range of 191, an accuracy of 20, a weight of 50.7 pounds, and a value of 3,487 caps. Our newly added Flak gun has a base damage of 100. It is shooting 20 millimeter rounds, has a fire rate of 27, a range of 155, an accuracy of 47, a weight of 23.4 pounds, and a value of 2,260 caps. And then finally, the Westech AGL-40 has a base damage of 175, it's shooting 40mm grenades, has a fire rate of 36, a range of 191, an accuracy of 41, a weight of 50.7 pounds, and a value of 3,332 caps. And now, we get to check out the attachments for these beauties, and there are some really cool, unique attachments, which gets me very excited. So let's start with the Mark 19. It has four receiver types, the Standard Automatic, Rapid Automatic, the Powerful Automatic, and the Powerful Rapid Automatic. For barrels, we have the Short Barrel, the Water-Cooled Barrel, the Ported Barrel, the Long Water-Cooled Barrel, Long Barrel, and Long Ported Barrel. We have the options to add Iron Sights, the Gunner Sight, which is going to look like the Minigun Gunner Sight, and then the Reflex Sight, which is a nice big dot sight. For muzzles, we have No Muzzle, a Large Bayonet, a compensator, a muzzle brake, and then the combi muzzle, which is going to be a muzzle brake as well as our large bayonet. We have options for damage modifiers from standard up to plus 200% if for whatever reason you thought you needed that. We have the option to add a ballistic shield, which will actually give you damage resistance while wielding this weapon. And then we have the option to choose ammo type. We have a jacketed soft points, full metal jacket, jacketed hollow points, armor piercing, and then high explosive rounds, which you're going to need both Gun Nut 4 and Demolition Expert 3. We're going to see some similar attachments for the Mark 22. Here in our receivers, we have Automatic, Rapid, Powerful, and then Powerful Rapid. For barrels, we have the Short, Water Cooled, Ported, and then Long versions for each, just like for the other machine gun. We have the option for Iron Sight, Gunner Sight, and Reflex Sight, just like before. We have our damage modifiers. We have the option for that ballistic shield, although this one does bring a new style completely. And then again, the same round options as before with the JSP, FMJ, JHP, AP, and then also high explosive. Moving on to the flat gun, things get a little bit different. Our receivers, we have standard, hardened, and advanced. For barrels, we have short, long, and long flanged. Flanged? Flanged. Flanged. For sights, we have standard sights and a reflex sight, which looks mighty interesting. We do have some muzzle options. We have no muzzle, flash hider, muzzle brake, and then advanced muzzle brake. We do have the option to add a ballistic shield to this one as well. We have those damage modifiers, and then we have rounds. We have standard, flechette, armor piercing, and then explosive rounds. And then finally, we get to take a look at the AGL-40. For receivers, we have our four automatic, rapid automatic, powerful automatic, and then powerful rapid automatic receivers. We have a short and long barrel. We have the iron sight or the reflex sight. We have the option to add a bayonet to this one as well. We have our damage modifiers, and then we have our round types. But because this is a grenade launcher, we have high explosive rounds, incendiary rounds, EMP rounds, cryo rounds, and plasma rounds. Lots of variety with this one. Okay, so this does look a little bit different for our weapon tests from normal. Typically we test on death claws, but these things are huge, so we're just going to go ahead and start with behemoths. And what we're going to do, is, since there are so many weapons, is we're just going to test the best version of each weapon. Starting from left to right, we're going to start with this here, Mark 19. Fully upgraded with the best attachments, but not using any of the damage modifiers or the perks that increase our damage as well. So this is purely attachment based. Let's see how much damage this thing does. And as you can see, this thing shreds pretty quick. And this has the lowest damage of the weapons we'll be testing today. Let's move on 
to the Mark 22. Just as suspected, he is down very fast. How about our flak gun? Interestingly enough, it takes a little bit longer as this does have a pretty slow fire rate, but it takes less rounds to put him down. So a little bit of a trade-off there. And finally, we have our AGL, the automatic grenade launcher. <laughs> the recoil on this thing is pretty hard to control. Let's try shooting at his feet. <laughs> so this may be the worst one yet, purely because of its inaccuracy. As you can see, the recoil takes you all over the place. It makes this pretty hard to control. But I bet you anything, it works pretty well in VATS. But yeah, I think that covers just about everything in the current build of the mod. Now that being said, there will be an update coming pretty soon that's going to add even more content. Once the update 1.1 is actually released, there will be weapon skins as well, so you can customize these things to look exactly how you want. There will also be turret versions of each of these weapons, which I'm very excited for, so I may cover an update to this sometime in the future, depending on how much is added. And I'm sure there will also be a handful of bug fixes here and there, so stay tuned for future updates for this thing because you definitely want the new additions that are coming later. That being said, the Xbox release will also be coming later. It is not out right now, but the author does plan for it to be released on Xbox, so that's very cool for you Xbox users. And with that, I hope you've enjoyed. If you want to try this mod out for yourself in its current build, you can check it out in the link in the description below. And as always, don't forget to support the author. If you enjoyed this mod, endorse it. Consider donating if that's something you're able to do, but most of all, just show your appreciation for all of their hard work. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace! And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel in videos just like this one. So again, thank you.